greeting everyone here is uh, a problem related to kinematics as I will was done on this channel so I will perform a couple of examples related to uh, a conceptual uh, questions and as well as problems on kinematics so in this problem I'm going to show you some uh, basic fundamental physical quantities such as we, <coughs> we always use in kinematics as a basics so here I have a questions which says the car moves uh, such that its position fits the relationship below where here the relationship tells us something so now I have a relationship between the positions of the car here I have a car so now this car is moving in the positive x direction so the position in time at any later time t is given by 2t squared plus t cubed so where the miss car is moving as you see here in the positive x direction so then uh, the equation says to find the displacement in between t equals to 1 second and t equals to 4 second and the same time interval we will find a very very still within the same time intervals so then we go ahead and we'll find um, part c determine the instantaneous velocity of course once we know the positions at any later time it will be easy to find it okay and part d we'll also find uh, or just calculate uh, instantaneous acceleration at equals to two seconds of course and lastly we will find average acceleration between t, uh, t equals to one second and t equals to two seconds so so that would be fair enough to find it so as always what uh, we will do is uh, in any physics problem identifying first uh, uh, what is the given information and the requirements uh, from that problem so here i have a position which is in time the positions of the car which is 2t squared plus t cubed and from there it would be easy to find the displacement so in part a what i'm going to do is just to find the displacement which is delta x so by definition when i say the displacement i'm saying the position difference between two time intervals now i have given here two time intervals which is for four second and one second so it would be uh, fair enough to say here at x equals to uh, four second minus at x of the position at equals uh, at one second so my regular is just simply substitute my regional so when i substitute it it would be just simple substitution uh, so I have expression 2t squared plus t cubed so here is 2 times 4 squared note that here the position x is in meter so uh, our uh, result displacement would be in meter so then uh, x is just uh, plus t squared which is 4 cubed so here 4 cubed and minus here the position at one second which is two times one second plus one cubed note that when i say uh, here uh, without units okay you need to check the camera and now just for the sake of simple calculation now so i know that finally i will get a result in meter so substituting the whole things and you found that this gives us 95 meters so in fact this is the displacement of the car in those time intervals note that here the expressions of the position is not linear or the motion is not linear that means say every physical quantity could be expressed differently now let's go to uh, part b on part b we are asked to find the average velocity 
<coughs> within the same time interval. So here, by definition, the average velocity from the general definition, the average velocity, which is for one dimensional case, I'm doing a one dimensional problem, is the change in displacement divided by the change in time interval. So note that this is generally for one dimensional case. Actually, I will do a problem so on two dimensional. So in that case, we'll use a position vectors rather than uh, just a one dimensional vector like uh, here in this case, X. So we'll do uh, in the next video also. So let, let, let's just do a couple of here substitution from the upper problems. Note that here I have calculated the displacement, which is in part B, in part A, which is 95 meters. So the, the change in time here, as you see here, the change in time is simply the time difference of the two event of the two, two positions, which is four equal, uh, t equals to four second uh, minus t equals to one second, which is three seconds. Now they need to be easy to find a very velocity, which is I have calculated the change in displacement, 95 meter divided by the three second. So uh, just simply by simple arithmetic, you will found that it is 31.67 meter per second. So this gives us the average velocity in one direction. So, so let's go ahead and pass it. Uh, so in pass it, we uh, are about to find the determine or just determine the instantaneous velocity of the car at t equals to three seconds. So C. So as always, uh, the instantaneous velocity of a car is just simply a time limit, uh, the infinitesimal time limits of uh, the average velocity so to just a little bit for a little bit definition let me say here the instantaneous velocity is the limits as delta t goes to zero delta v which is you now delta x by delta t so this is simply the limit of uh, average velocity uh, here delta t so in fact this could be written in a differential form as uh, the time derivatives of the position with respect to time. So in fact, this would be better to find the, uh, the instantaneous velocity at any given point in time. So because you don't have to do some detailed calculus stuff to prove that uh, what the limit gives us the, the, the time derivative, this would be your calculus class. I hope you'll cover this in detail. So I will not cover much on it so let me go ahead and just simply calculate the instantaneous velocity at t equals to um three seconds in fact we are asked to find here at t the instantaneous or the velocity at t equals to one that's three seconds so that's well and done so let us just go calculate the uh, the derivative the position so this would be given by the time derivative so the position here is uh mm, let's go ahead once more double 2t squared plus t cubed 2t squared plus t cubed now it would be easy for any student especially having uh, fun with uh, a calculus or derivative just to derivate 2t squared plus t cubed this is 40 uh, plus 3t squared so then what I'm going to do here is the question, this is the actually, note that this is the expressions of the instantaneous velocity. This is the time, the time functions or the functions of the velocity at any point in time. Actually, the your expression, don't forget that. But now the question is, what is the instantaneous velocity at, <coughs> uh, one second, three second, one little. So, three second delay, I get just simply substitute my leg now to two times, I mean four times, uh, four times three plus three times. Note that this is a squared, not cubed. So, differentiate to, uh, very carefully. So, three times t squared, which is uh, four squared. So, so here, 
This gives us with simple calculation, actually I have done it previously, 39 meters per second. If I am wrong, actually check it again. Uh, so this gives us the velocity. Note that when I say here, uh, the, the, the vector, uh, since the, the, our motion is uh, in one direction, so the direction here we use is just minus to the right and positive, no, other way around. Let me go to minus to the left and positive to the right. Note that when I don't specify any unit vector, uh, all sorts of st stuff. So just what you need to uh, bear in mind is when I say positive is 39 meters per second, it's assumed that the car is moving with a positive velocity 39 meters per second at that time, three seconds in the positive x direction. Uh, I, I hope that would be clear. So let's go ahead and just calculate so the force uh, inform the force. Uh, requirement which is calculate the instant in acceleration at t equals to two second so note that here what i'm asked here is what we are asked here is the instantaneous acceleration so uh, by definition when you say instantaneous acceleration we would actually see first what do you mean by average acceleration so average acceleration of any given uh, any moving objects uh, between two time interval would be the change in velocity divided by change in time. So uh, the instantaneous acceleration, the same way as we define instantaneous uh, velocity, so it would be the difference or I mean the time limit or just the limit of the average acceleration. So this would be when the time goes to zero, change in velocity by change in time. Or simply, this is uh, average acceleration. Average acceleration. So, instant in acceleration is simply a time limit of average acceleration. So, what I am going to do is such as simply I put just the time derivatives of the instantaneous velocity with respect to time, and just I am going. Uh, I will. Go ahead, just substitute two seconds because we are asked to find the acceleration at two seconds. So, what I am going to here, uh, do here is just what is the instantaneous velocity. So, bear in mind that you don't have to calculate it any detailed calculation here to find the instantaneous of velocity because previously I have just accomplished one task. I have calculated here the expressions of instantaneous velocity. So from this expression, what I'm going to uh, do is just simply, I pick this and just plug it to uh, D, or just simply I put here, I put it like this, the time derivatives of here, the expression of velocity is 4T plus 3T squared. Note that this is one way of doing that actually, <laughs> You could do it like this way. Note that here is the time derivative of the instantaneous velocity. So this is the dt by, uh, which is the, in the instantaneous velocity could also be written as the time derivatives of what? The velocity, uh, I mean the position. So one way to write it, this is simply the second derivative of position with respect to time. Uh, acceleration could also be written as a secondary bit of positions as uh, velocity instantaneous velocity is simply the first derivative of positions that's good so uh, actually here is enough let's just continue from this result now just derivating gives us this is 4 plus actually if I do it this 6 uh, t yeah uh, because it's simple derivatives so then what I'm going to do, just acceleration at two seconds. See so you so now I'm going go now just four plus six times and our time is two seconds. All right. So this is 12 and finally you'll get uh, 12 plus four, 16 
uh, meter per second squared. Note that when you use a unit, it should be in proper unit. When you say acceleration, it should be meter per second squared. So in some formulas, actually, you would be given uh, a unit to cancel it out. Actually, in this problem, it doesn't matter. So let's go to the last and part E. So on part E, what we are asked is just simply to find average velocity between two time interval. That's good. Here, uh, the time interval is between t equals to one second and t equals to one second. Sorry, my cat is drawing here. Uh, I hope you will not disturb you too much. So, the average acceleration, by definition, the average uh, acceleration between time interval would be delta v by delta t here, where delta v is not that this is the velocity difference of the instantaneous velocity. I should write this way like this: the velocity at final time. This is the instantaneous velocity actually. The instantaneous velocity at t equals to the final time minus the velocity at initial time. The initial velocity, the instantaneous at initial time divided by t final minus t initial. This is actually the more general definition of acceleration, especially for uh, uh, average acceleration. Here, but for average acceleration, the velocity here is the instantaneous velocity, which is the velocity at that particular time, which is in this case two seconds. One, you know, Ziga Hulet second now, but and second Macacale alone, average velocity is not further. So consider my regular bin, uh, to Nagana. So the velocity here, the velocity at what at two seconds minus the velocity at one second. So my question here is, how can I could find the velocity at those uh, seconds, which is two seconds minus one second. So the velocity at two seconds is simply saying the instantaneous velocity, not that the instantaneous velocity is not the average velocity. The instantaneous velocity at two seconds. You actually will not normally say the average the average velocity at two seconds. When it's average, it should be between two time interval. So note that this is the instantaneous velocity. So how you could find the instantaneous velocity at two seconds? It should be a simple substitution because you have expressions of the instantaneous velocity as in part C here. The instantaneous velocity is calculated. So once you have calculated the instantaneous velocity, just simply you plug it the number and just simply do it the whole the rest arithmetic things. So here would be four times two plus three two squared. This is that at two second minus uh, four times one plus three times one squared. It would be just simple arithmetic times two minus one, which is one second. In fact, if you just simply do the arithmetic, you would get. Uh, 30 meter per second squared. Note that here average velocity is less than the instantaneous velocity uh, at two seconds. Uh, so uh, this tells us is something uh, peculiar uh, features of those quantities on the problems related to uh, like one dimensional motions. I hope this will be helpful for your uh, revisions on these chapters so i will come back on other problems so stay tuned uh, i'll see you on the next problem bye bye